Hey guys, Jones here. I know a lot of people have trouble clamping um, kind of oddly ground blades in the Wicked Edge. By that I mean uh, full flat ground blades, full hollow grind blades, uh, even some full height convex. Um, and there's a few solutions out there. I know Clay Allison uh, tells you to use foam tape. I've tried foam tape. I've tried gasket tape that's meant for sealing speaker enclosures. Neither one of those worked very well. The problem is that while they do sort of fill the void between the uh, the sides of the grind and the sides of the jaws, um, because it's foam and it's compressible, you get a lot of rocking back and forth of the blade of your knife. So when you're sitting there sharpening and the paddles, you know, hit the blade, the paddles are actually sort of twisting the knife back and forth, which of course is adjusting the contact point against the blade and it's adjusting your angle. So that's that, that's not good. Um, I've also tried using a uh, some suede to fill in the gaps and uh, it, it worked but the jaws had to be wide enough apart that you really couldn't do an angle below 34 degrees inclusive which uh, I like my angles about 30 so you know that was out. The solution I found that works best is what I'm about to show you and it, it's quite simple you're going to need um, some blue painters tape or any other tape that's not compressible and some chamois cloth and this is what you're going to want to do. Um, the U-shaped thing right here is your chamois cloth and uh, these sort of stair step staggered lines are the blue painters tape and this is basically how you want to do it you want to stagger it like you know stair steps um, and these are all going to be different widths so you're going to have to you know cut it to size and what this is going to do is this is going to help fill in the void between the uh, the angled sides of the blade and the clamp so when you couple the tape with the uh, chamois cloth it's going to make sure that the uh, the sides of the knife are now perfectly parallel to the sides of the jaws and the clamp and I, I can attest to the fact that this works extremely well I've done a couple dozen knives like this and uh, it works like a charm much much better than the other methods I've mentioned now to give you an idea what this looks like this is an Ontario Wrap Model 1 um, notice I didn't use very wide layers of tape and that is because you really don't want your your upper most layer of tape sticking sticking above the jaws uh, of the clamp because then of course it's a uh, it's not going to have any effect at all. Um, depending on the thickness of the spine of your knife, you're actually going to have to use different uh, number of layers of tape. Um, the Rap Model One will use three layers of tape. Um, something like the uh, large Cold Steel Voyager, the full flat ground version, will use four layers of tape per side. Um, the pocket bushman will use four layers of tape per side, so you're going to have to kind of uh, adjust the number of layers of tape to sort of fit the uh, the dimensions of your knife, how how thick the spine is. But uh, once you do that, and you put on a piece of chamois cloth, um, if you don't know, chamois cloth is sort of like a uh, a suede like material. It comes you know from an animal. It's the type of leather, um, unless you get synthetic. But you really want to use like you know natural leather chamois cloth and you wrap that around the sides right there and then you want to clamp that in the jaws of the wicked edge and uh, it will work fantastic for you um, I guarantee it as long as you do it properly so hopefully this helps people out there I know this has done wonders for me um, this will make sure that your knife is clamped um, extremely tight and secure in the clamp so you will not be able to move it once it is clamped in there and that's you know definitely a plus so Hopefully this helps people out there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.